I want to give a big shout out to Diana. Your support means the world to me and I appreciate it so much. The Tiyut cup is kind of a hybrid between a sphere or a ball shaped cup and other menstrual cups that we typically see on the market. It's available in two different sizes, a small and a large, and is a frosted white color. Although this cup originates from Korea, it is available in the United States. I will leave any links that I have for them in the description below. Today I'm going to do an unboxing, show you what you get, and then take you down to the table to take a closer look at this cup. If you're interested in hearing more about the Tiyut cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So the Tiyut cup is a unique shaped cup. I haven't seen it anywhere else on the market yet, but we'll take a look at that right after the packaging. The Tiyut cup comes packaged in a simple box and includes an instruction booklet, the Triton bottle, and your cup. According to the website, the Triton bottle is a storage container. However, it doesn't have any air holes on it and menstrual cups need a good airflow so that any moisture can evaporate and bacteria can't grow. If you're going to use the bottle to store your cup, make sure to leave the lid off of it or drill small air holes in it if you wish. Now let's go back down to the table to take a closer look at the Tiyut cup. This small Tiyut cup measures 70 millimeters in total length. Without the stem, it measures 45 millimeters. It has a diameter of 38 millimeters and holds 32 milliliters to the top of the rim. The large Tiyut cup measures 72 millimeters in total length, 50 millimeters without the stem, has a diameter of 43 millimeters and holds 42 milliliters to the top of the rim. Starting with the stem, it is a solid piece of silicone. It's a stick style or a flat tab style. If I turn it to the side, you can see that it's thinner. This stem will flex easily in all directions. It's not super soft, but it does have some stretch to it. It stops right about there and it has five grip rings on it. There isn't an extra seal or a thick piece of meat between the stem and the base of the cup. So if you're trimming this stem off, make sure you leave a little nub so you don't cut into the cup itself. Unlike other ball shaped cups on the market, the Tiyut cup has some grip rings at the base. There are four of them. They're not very pronounced and they are rounded off. Not only does this cup have a rim, it has a secondary rim, and although there isn't a really smooth transition, you can still see these two steps here, they did round that area off. There are four air holes just underneath that secondary rim, and they are equally spaced. There are on the smaller side of medium, and it's a little hard to see because they travel diagonally. There are two seams to mention. There's one that's on the top side of the rim. It's closer to the inside of the cup than the outside. Uh, it does feel like they cleaned that up pretty well. I can't feel it with my fingertips. There's also a seam that travels the length of the body up and over the stem and back down the other side. But this one again is barely detectable. The only marking on the outside of this cup is their name, Tiyut. And the inside of the cup has measuring lines and numbers in milliliters. And the way that these are um, positioned is so that you can read it from the outside. If you follow me on Instagram, I did mention that I had some issues with other type of ball shaped cups on the market. Without getting too much into detail, I will go ahead and list some of those issues. Ball-shaped cups are supposed to be able to be worn lower in the vaginal canal. That's great for someone who has a medium to low cervix, but I personally find that these cups tend to ride up and sit higher. 
The body and rim aren't supposed to have to open completely. If I don't make sure that at least the rim is open completely, I experience leaking. Because the body of these cups are so bulbous, sometimes it's hard to get my finger inserted to check the rim or the mouth of the cup, even if I wanted to. None of the ball-shaped cups that I have on hand have air holes on them. I find that it creates a very tight seal for me, and sometimes I end up pulling my cervix when I'm trying to release that seal or suction. I've created a habit to always wipe the base of the cup and or the stem if I left it intact uh, for any excess blood so that I don't experience any spotting or stamping on my underwear. With ring stems, it can be hard sometimes because of the position of them or trying to get around them or even inside of them in the little rings. So it takes me a little bit more time to clean them. Those were all my personal experiences. You might not experience the same thing as I do. The Tiut cup minimized some of the issues that I had with the prior um, other ball-shaped type of cups. Don't get me wrong, those other cups are great, just not for me personally, in terms of ease and comfort. I was really excited to see this design and I did get to use it for a couple of days during my last period. I'm going to hold off uh, telling you how that went for my actual review, but I did, again, find it much easier and more comfortable to use. Well, that's all I have for now about the Tiut cup. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if this shape is interesting to you and if you think it'll work for your situation. One last thing before I go, I do want to apologize to the Tiut Cup Company. I hope that I'm pronouncing the name correctly. I did go online to um, see if I could find a pronunciation, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I didn't totally screw up the name this whole time. Until I see you next time, take care.